dripping water all over the floor. Meet our dog, Ramy. She's our 11-year-old, 90-pound chocolate lab. She spent the main portion of her life under the giant fir trees in the cool climate of Boring, Oregon, and I'm sure she never would have guessed that one day she'd be living on a sailboat in Mexico. Truth is, I bet she'd prefer to never have stepped on a sailboat. But like all Labradors, and I suppose most other dogs, home is where the pack is, and to her, that's good enough. When Tanya and I decided to start cruising, having a giant dog on board was a huge concern. How were we going to get Ramy on and off the boat? Luckily, she quickly learned to help us out by partly walking up the companionway stairs, and we just needed to give her a boost. Thank you. Thankfully, Stella J came with a swim platform, which soon became one of the most used features on our boat. All right, go ahead. Because of her size and age, she's pretty well set in her ways. She didn't take to using a pee pad no matter how hard we tried. She's not a fan of the boat's movements and walking on the fiberglass is her least favorite thing to do. So we've done our best to cover up the entire traffic areas with some sort of rug or mat. Even the floor of the dinghy has been covered up with doormats. Because of her refusal to do her business on the boat, we must take her to shore as many times a day as we can.
different anchorages means different things, but they always lead to the same thing. A dirty, sandy, salty dog. Gross, look at those paws. Yuck. No matter how hard we try, we are always on the losing side of the battle to have a clean boat. For a decade of her life, she grew old in the cool climate of Boring, Oregon, where there was always shade and cool grass to lay in. She loved to ride around in our golf cart and play ball in the field, and I often feel bad taking this away from her. But despite all that, she's adapted well to living on a boat, and I like to believe that she's not all that upset about it. She has always been accident prone, so keeping her from getting hurt is a top priority. Here in Mexico we have seen animal hospitals, but they may not always be convenient to get to. We have been hesitant with all the stray dogs running around as they will always approach her, but it's not the strays we need to worry about. Recently in La Paz, Remy was attacked by another cruiser's dog. with the help of some triple antibiotic ointment and a couple weeks mm -hmm. she healed up just fine. You doing good? You doing good? So, the big question is, how does she do while under passage? Well, as long as she's up top with us, we tuck her in and she hangs on for the ride. It may not be her favorite thing in the world, but for the most part, she doesn't complain.
There is no doubt that having a dog with us while cruising has been immensely enjoyable, but it also comes with its difficulties. We have limitations that other cruisers don't need to worry about, and while sometimes we wish we didn't have the responsibility of a dog, we wouldn't trade her for the world. So for now, we continue our adventure with a huge Labrador for crew, and we make sure to get in plenty of beach time.